Hi, this is Dennis. Sometimes I go by Teacher DJ for Dennis Jr. Nevertheless, we started Joyful Tutor Academic Services and Products many, many years ago, and in many ways it lay dormant as maybe a hobby or something that I had good intentions for developing. However, it's definitely on the trajectory now of being successful and this video is simply preliminary. I'll be doing a more professional one with a better script, but for now I just wanted to do a simple intro. I'm very excited that one of the things we can do is be involved with contracting my teaching services out internationally in Asia through a company that hires me. I'm not employed, I'm contracted to teach students in mainland China. So I've learned many things I love the Chinese culture and I want to learn more about the language. It's a very difficult language, but I had a parent or this child, the student, just maybe yesterday say English is very hard, but of course that's the point. If you're born in China, learning English is not easy. For me, being raised in North America, in the United States of America, learning Chinese, for example, is very difficult. Although interestingly, in terms of language, um, I think a language like Spanish for an American is going to be a much easier language to learn as a second language than, say, learning Chinese. But what am I saying? Number one, I love the Chinese people. I love the fact that Joyful Tutor is able to be a part of creating income, doing something that, that as a co-founder, the co-founder together with my wife, something that I have a passion for, something that I enjoy doing. And I get to teach from home. I get to hang out and be a stay-at-home dad while working. And what can I say? God is good. I'm very thankful. Now, in terms of the language, I have learned some Chinese. And one of the things we want to do with JTASP, which is what we call it for short, is to be able to facilitate resources in a broad context. And what I mean by that is many departments. You know, it can range from language arts to mathematics to social studies to philosophy, religion, music, and just have a broad range of resources that are on demand, um, pre-recorded, and then put into a, what would you say, into a course, an online cloud-based course system, I guess you would say, through LMS Knowledge and Technology, knowing how to use uh, learning management systems. So uh, there's just so much that I want to accomplish. And here's the point. I want the vision that we have is that everything we do with our business and businesses, because Joyful Tutor is one aspect of our entrepreneurial, our grassroots entrepreneurial efforts as human beings living in society, our main premise is to love God and to love other people. And so if we can prosper and have joy in what we do, if we can prosper by having joy and purpose in what we do, passion for what we do, as far as creating resources that can be marketed, that help people learn things, then that's wonderful. And then the money we make will have more uh, monetary or economics, uh, not economics, we'll have more resources, economically speaking, to do things in our world that reflect our Christian values and faith. Helping the orphans, helping the widows, helping the poor and the needy. Uh, you, you see what I'm saying? So this business is not just about the American dream and making money, getting rich and blah, 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 blah. No, it's about living with purpose and passion. And that's what this is all about. So we're so excited. Uh, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, we definitely want to bring the human relationship aspect into the business. And what I mean by that is obviously if you're teaching in some capacity, whether live, in person, or on online teaching, or if it's pre-recorded teaching where you're creating lessons that are on demand, um, either way you're reaching people and you're helping them to learn something they need to learn and that they want to learn. And of course part of that, part of the philosophy should be that we need to inspire uh, students. We, we need to kind of um, maybe they already want to learn, but we want to help them to learn even more. Or, if they're not interested in a topic, hopefully we can draw them in and inspire them and motivate them. But yes, we want to focus on the relationships. We want to focus on encouraging our students with what we do and, and the other things we do in business. 
uh, whether it's not if it's not strictly academics, um, whatever we do in business. Because by the way, we also run a property maintenance business in Isabella County, Michigan, uh, and it spreads out um, to other places beyond the Mount Pleasant area where we reside. Um, but we're getting ready to start right now. I'm in EDU 709, finishing up the very last class. It's an elective class for the uh, Masters of Educational Technology degree, the program I'm in through the global campus at CMU. Um, but this is the last class, and Lord willing, I'll graduate after this class in two months. It's March right now, March 15th. My father, if he was still alive, would have turned 74 yesterday, my late father, um, on March 14th. But nevertheless, uh, was he 74? Let me think about that. He would have been, yeah, I guess 74 years old yesterday. Um, I'm 44. Um, but what I'm trying to say is I'm looking forward to graduating with this master's and I lost my train of thought there talking about my father trying to connect the dots here because that's what it's all about purpose. We're living with purpose. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So it is March 15th, 2019 right now. I'm getting ready to finish this class, this degree, graduate with a master's hopefully in two months in May, uh, at CMU here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. And we are in the process in about one month from now in April, which will be during this class, to um, beginning our, our property maintenance business, uh, Earthkeepers Property Maintenance, under the same parent company that oversees JTAS, which is Maranatha Industries, LLC. Okay, so what am I trying to say? Yes, so about April till maybe November, December, depending on when the snow comes, spring through into fall, uh, we do property maintenance for customers. We built a little business and we have customers mostly in this area, but other parts of the state. And I basically get my fingernails dirty, uh, landscaping, lawn care, uh, property maintenance, physical labor, that kind of thing, handyman work. So this is our life. You know, we have this passion for education, for business, academics, uh, ministry, um, and then also the physical labor aspect of using our our hands to do things to create income and to do things we enjoy. So the educational technology degree will help with much more than simply JTASP. It's going to help with many different things in business, in ministry, and so on. So what can I say other than I'm very grateful, I'm very humbled. This is Dennis Egan saying have a wonderful day.